Um, so first question is with Abby Beeman. Abby had her second double-double of the season last Saturday with 15 points and 10 rebounds. Abby also surpassed 1,500 points against ODU on Saturday. So questions for Abby. Abby, the last few games um, have been competitive, to be fair. But what do you think it's going to take to get to the point where you're not digging yourselves out of holes and you're not having to make those late pushes where you can maybe just put a team away? Yeah, for sure. They've definitely all been close. I think that's kind of what makes it hurt even worse. But I think for us personally, getting out to a fast start normally always you know, ends up well for us. So I think starting to eliminate the slow start so we don't have to you know, crawl back into it and you know, have that big hole to get ourselves out of, um, I think that's really important for us. What do you think the, the difference has been? The, the first two games on the road, very successful these last four games. What is leading to those slow starts? You know, that's a great question. I think, you know, if we had the answer for it, you know, we might stop doing it. So I think it's something we're all still trying to figure out. And hopefully, you know, starting Thursday, we can get back on track. What do you, has anything changed uh, in preparation? Is, you know, has the focus changed a little bit to try to get over this hump or to, to, to reestablish your identity? Uh, are there things that are maybe going on with the team? Is, you know, coach preaching something different? You know, what do you guys try to work on to maybe to get over that hump? Um, it's all pretty much been the same. I will say after the Coastal game, I think just the team in general, our focus and our concentration and our energy even in Friday's practice was a lot better, and I think that's carried over even into this week so far. So just looking to keep that going, and hopefully it can flow into the games. Do you like the, do you like the fight of your teammates? You know, has, it, has it been just really, we hate this, you know, we are better than this? You know, what's that attitude like with the players? Right. Uh, I think you can ask anyone in the locker room, anyone on the staff, losing four games in a row, especially in conference, is no fun. And I, like you said, I like to fight the teammates. I know we all hate losing. You can see it on our faces you know, after the games and stuff. So I think we're, we're going to really like to turn that around. And I think it's good that we're not you know, OK with just losing those games. It kind of lights a fire under us. What do you attribute to your personal success as of late? Oh, I'm really just, you know, trying to do whatever I can to help the team win. I look every game, I look in the mirror first, like I could have made more shots. If I make more shots, you know, if I don't turn the ball over, you know, we can probably win some of those games. Um, I'm pretty much saying you know, there's some people speaking up trying to get us you know, out of the losing streak for sure, but it's pretty much been the same people all season. We haven't changed too much, like I was saying, but I think, you know, people are definitely starting to step up and, you know, we can't lose too many more, so. Troy presents, like, you know, a challenge with their size. Like, number one in the country in rebounding and stuff. How, is, how are you all preparing for that, you know, that size that they have? Yeah, it's already been an emphasis, you know, in the early week. I think it's going to come down to effort and boxing them out and trying to get them out of there. But like you said, sometimes there's nothing you can do about size, so we're going to do everything we can to limit their opportunities. Any questions? Justin? Yeah. All right, thank you, Abby. All right, thanks. Thank thanks. Right, opening statement from Coach Kemper. Yeah, I mean, I think that obviously, uh, obviously we're not playing the way we want to play right now. And, and uh, I thought that after Old Dominion, I, th I think Old Dominion was a, a step in the right direction for our team. I think we were way more consistent in that game with uh, the things that we need to do to, to be successful. And, uh, and sometimes, though, you can play better and still not feel any better when you're riding the bus home or, or taking the airplane home. So I, I do think that's kind of what, what what the lesson was from Saturday is there's there's things that you did better, and unfortunately it doesn't feel any better. So um, I thought our energy level practice on Friday I saw a little bit more. Uh, I think an energy level that w was trying to carry others, and I thought that was really important for that day. I thought that carried through yesterday as well in our first day of prep for Troy. So um, you know we're. Uh, they're, they're obviously fighting. I mean, even we've we've had some rough stretches in these games that have put us in a really bad place, and they they are at some point in all these games they're centering themselves and battling back, and we just have to make it so. And I think Old Dominion was a step in this direction. Our their runs were never that big. You know, they were 
plus five, but so were ours, you know, and um, just didn't play well enough at the end. Uh, we weren't very good offensively in the fourth quarter when we needed to be. And I'll, I'll tell you another thing that that is, it was not a thing for our first, I guess, 13 games is, is fouling. You know, if you just look at how many free throws we're giving opponents, I mean, we were down around 11, 12 a game in the early part of the year consistently. And the last four games were up over 20 every game. And that, when you look at what we're getting beat by, that is, that is a major issue in how we're guarding people. So we've got to get that cleaned up. Um, and, and this, you know, this team coming in is going to present challenges because they really put pressure on the basket. They're long and they're aggressive and athletic and um, they're going to be attacking. So, uh, but we got to get that solved. Um, they got to get their chins up, which I think they are. Um, you know, sometimes you, you try to teach lessons when you're happy because you, things are going well. And sometimes you got to teach resiliency about, um, you know, what you want to be. And, and I still think that I think we've played a lot of really good teams um, out of our league. And I think that our team understands they can compete just fine with them. So we've got to be level-headed about, uh, we can't quite look at, we've got to use the results to motivate us. And we can't, can't use them to drag us down. And we, we've got to stay level-headed about what we can still get done against the teams that we have to play. Is there anything you can do differently to try to recenter them so they can get out to a quicker start? They haven't been in situations where they've just been outclassed and blown out. You know, they've battled back. They've shown they can, they can do it. But you would love to get that in the front end as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think that I've, I've always been, I've always tried to really stay steady with, with you know, you practice for a long time and you, you put a group out there at the beginning of a game that, that does things the most right the most often. Um, but I, I think, after a while, you just start to look at that. Like, is that the right decision? And, and uh, I, I still think it is right now, but I, th I think we might eventually try to get a spark somewhere and see if that doesn't help. And, um, but like I said, I, overall, I, there's a reason why people are out there. And effort, energy every day, that, that is why we, we do it. But we've got to get off to a better start. And you know, the other day against Old Dominion, from from me watching it, we kind of did, except for the score. It, 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 it was not any better in the score, you know. And so I think that part from a uh, – that's where you got to be steady with them about – I thought we we forced Old Dominion into a lot of shots we were okay with. Um, Amari Young made a whole bunch of face-up jumpers, and we didn't make anything. And you look up there, and it's like, well, that, that didn't work either, you know. But you also saw us – I mean, I – what my point is, my, still my point, we were fine, you know, just a matter of we were missing a lot, they were making a lot, um, and that was a steady effort for us throughout that game. And, um, you know, going back to the foul thing, like they took the lead on free throws. They didn't take the lead. It was two teams that didn't make a lot of baskets in the fourth quarter. That is typically the way it goes. It's usually really hard to score in the fourth quarter, and we've got to be better about We've got to adjust to what is a foul and what isn't a foul. And we, we can't give them leads and baskets at the end that are not earned. With adversity, uh, opportunity for people to maybe step up, be a little bit more assertive, show their, their, their mettle. Who has stepped up for you or who's been a pleasant surprise for you with this adversity? Yeah, I, I think that there's, you know, I think there's multiple people. I, I thought Ari Redmond was really good the last couple of weeks. She kind of had a down weekend last weekend. Uh, but she was steady. She just wasn't as productive. Um, you know, I, I, the one that was just up here, I, I see a lot of – she's not real vocal, but when you watch her play, she really makes people around her better. Um, you know, I, she has an understanding of I need to play better um, in certain spots to help us a lot. And, and I appreciate that. Like, um, you know, I've got to help get us in better things um, at the end. And, uh, but I think the, her attitude is reflective. And I think we have a lot of people with that, that kind of mentality. And I think that's why um, after a, a rough performance at Coastal Carolina, we didn't, we didn't play real well down there. Um, I thought we'd bounce back. At a, Old Dominion is a tough place to play. <clears throat> um, I don't know how many people will go in there and win. I'm sure a couple will, but it won't be a whole bunch. So, um, you know, 
we did bounce back with a good performance. I think our, our seniors have led um, all year well. Uh, you know, it's just a growing process of the others. We've got a lot of youngsters on our team and learning how to kind of copy the good, you know, and, and I think they're growing in that. With your opponent this week, um, familiar face. So it's, uh, it's always uh, nice to know who you're going up against, but at the same time, uh, it kind of makes it hard as well because they've seen, you know, they've seen, they know what you're about, you know what they're about. So uh, what's it come down to? Yeah, I mean, we've got, so we've got Troy, and then we've got Southern Miss, and I assume you're talking about yeah, Southern Miss. Right. Um, you know, the first one's going to be a major challenge, that one that we don't know. And uh, I, I think that obviously they've done great things in women's basketball the last couple of years, so that's going to be a uh, – a big challenge and then we do shift to somebody that we have some some uh, history with and uh, you know I, I think there's I, I'm sure there's some things that's helpful for them preparing for us and vice versa um, about that so uh, it, it's always fun to play coach McNeil she's she's a, actually a one of the best to ever do it she's got a ton of wins she's been around women's college basketball forever and um, it's been really good she's she's battled some health problems in the last couple of years. And it's, when you think about it, she's coached through it. Um, you know, she, she's a tough, she's a tough cookie. And that, that's been neat, inspirational to watch her um, coach her team very well through, um, I know many days that weren't easy. So I've got a lot of respect for her um, and the way she does it. And, you know, both these teams I think are five and one. So they're both really good and off to good starts in the league. So, um, you know, that's a theme about the teams that have played at home thus far as you kind of look at where they're at in the standings. And all four of the teams that we've had at home are, are really good, good quality teams. So two more challenges and we'll have to figure out a way to, to f navigate through it, you know, which I think we're in the middle of that. You know, sometimes it goes easy and sometimes it, it doesn't. And I think we're in one of those periods. Justin. Coach, uh, for the game on Troy, look at the roster. A lot taller than you guys in height. Will you consider changing the starting line call to kind of match up with Troy? Your height? Well, I, I don't know that we can change the starting line up to match up with Troy and height. I mean, you're right. They're, they're pretty long. And um, I kind of discussed that a little bit earlier. I, I think that. Um, you know, we have a couple more practices before we play, but my typical thing is um, is to be steady with with what we do. Uh, but I, I think we're entering the point where, you know, everybody involved is like, let's try to make something good happen. And so uh, you never know, but um, it, it doesn't matter who's in there. Uh, they're going to have to box out. They're going to have to really chase rebounds. We've got to take care of the ball when you look at the things that Troy does well. So, um, but you are correct. The there's a little bit of a height advantage. And, uh, you know, Troy has a rebounding advantage against everybody they play, if you look at the, the numbers. You know, we're, that's not a, you know, more, little bitty Marshall thing. It, it's not that. I mean, we, we out-rebounded Old Dominion by three, you know, and they might have had some more size on us too. So, um, but Troy, this is Troy's identity, is to go rebound the basketball. So it doesn't matter where they're at. It, it's a thing for every visiting coach or, or opposing coach that they have to solve, they have to try to solve that problem, you know. So I don't know that it's just a matter of you're three inches taller, you you go because it's going to come to you. I mean, we're we're going to have to do a good job of chasing it, boxing out, um, and they're relentless. So we'll have to be that same way. Thank you, guys. Thank you.